What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? PZ here with the Go To Gamers, and um, I know I said wouldn't do it, but I did it. Um, playing Gears of War over here. Uh, I decided to pick it up after I went to Spider's house the other day, and he bought it, and I tried it out, and I actually liked it. I found out that it was well, not found out, but I mean, I it was it played differently than the beta did, and so I decided to pick it up and that's what I did. I sold Dead Island and I picked this game up so it wasn't it was like half the cost or whatever, but it ended up working out. And I'm actually I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually having a lot of fun with this game. Um, it's total different than what I'm used to playing anything I'm used to playing. I'm used to playing uh, Battle Kids and all of the three and all that kind of stuff. First, first of all this is third person, so I mean, that's a huge difference. But I mean also it's just the play style. You can't you can't rush your kills because it takes a while to kill somebody. So I mean, if you feel that you're gonna lose in a battle and you know that you're seeing you're taking bullets, you have time to jump back and get in cover. You could use cover to your advantage in this game. It's just totally different. You know what I mean? It's not what I'm used to, and and I'm liking it. I'm liking this difference. But that's not that's not to say that I'm not gonna win battle for I'm not gonna play that much because honestly, this is acting as a filler game. Yes, and uh, that's one of my uh, three deaths that I get this game. <clears throat> this game it acts exactly as a filler and that's exactly what it's doing. It's, and I'm having fun with it, so I'm not gonna complain at all. I'm having more fun with this game than I did with Dead Island, oh, yeah. and so I basically it was a good sell for me. Um So yeah, we went to Spider's house, me and me and Sam, and uh we tried it out. I think we both liked it, but <clears throat> but I picked it up and a few of uh, a few of us other people, you know, a group of people that we play with, picked it up too. So we've been playing this a lot. <clears throat> the multiplayer is, I, I just play Team Deathmatch basically. I mean, there's a lot of cool game modes we've done. Um, I think it's Horde, and that was freaking nuts. What else did we do? We did um, Beast, I think it's called, where it's like 12 rounds. In Horde, I forgot what round we made that too. We didn't make the whole thing. It was. We, we got stuck with a really hard boss uh, early off, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw the boss clip in at the end, and then I'll let you guys see the boss that we got stuck with and beat us down to the game, basically, because that was a tough task. It honestly took, I think, three or four times, and we were only at level 20 to kill that boss. It was, it was freaking ridiculous, but I mean, we got him down, and that was the main part. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. As you can tell, I'm still getting over my cold, so my voice is going to be a little bit... Uh, a little bit off, but I mean nothing, nothing too major. So we've been live streaming Gears of War 3 um, the past few days, and we're getting a lot of hate for that. I don't know. People are joining in saying, you know, Gears of War is a trash game, and I, you know, I thought Gears of War was not going to be a game for me because it's totally different with the one I'm used to. But it ended up being fun. It's one of those games that just you got to pick it up and you got to try it. And, you know, it's not for everybody, so I'd suggest, you know, try renting it. Try getting it from GameStop and you get the, um, you buy it used. And at GameStop, if you buy a game used, if you don't like it, within seven days, you can return it. So, I mean, if you're not, if you're at all skeptical, you know, do that. If you're not going to think you're going to return it within the seven days, try renting it, you know, from like a, your local uh, video rental place. Or I think even Netflix is now renting video games or... Uh, Redbox rents video games. You might be able to check it out there. Just you know, pay a few bucks and check it out. And if you like it, then you know that you can buy it. Also, what was released for this game is a whole bunch of gun camos that cost money. I think like the cheapest one is three dollars. It's ridiculous. Um, but I'm probably gonna pick a gun camo. Blah, 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 blah. I'm probably gonna pick up a gun camo because I mean, one of them looks pretty sick. Yeah, and then also, if you want, which seems like most games are doing this, because I first heard about it in Modern Warfare 3, but it seems like almost all the games that are coming out are actually doing this, where they're releasing a um, download, a downloadable content, where if you get it, if you like buy it now, like for the Gears of War, I think it's 2,400 Microsoft points, and if you buy it now, it's only available for the first month or something when the game's out. And if you buy it, you're guaranteed to get all four DLCs for free that are going to be coming out, map pack-wise. Modern Warfare 3 has the same thing. If you get um, the hard edition of Modern Warfare 3, you get a year subscription to Call of Duty XP. Not Call of Duty XP. Call of Duty Elite. Sorry about that, guys. 
and that will give you access to all the DLC. Now, you don't have to buy the Hardened Edition of Modern Warfare 3. You can get Call of Duty Elite online. You can buy your, your subscription that way and still get all the stuff. But I think it ends up being a better deal. It works out. I figured it out somehow, and it just made more sense to go ahead and spend the extra $40. Or, yeah, because I think it's fifty nine ninety nine, and it's gonna be a hundred dollars ninety nine ninety nine if you buy it uh, the hardened edition. So I mean, the extra forty bucks it worked out. Where if you're gonna get like twenty some DLCs for free, so I mean that was for me it was a no brainer. Um, I talked to a few of my other friends too, and you know I told them that that was a better deal, and so that's what we all ended up doing basically. And if you have, I think the the Call of Duty Marvel for three hardened edition is sold out, so I don't even need to buy it from GameStop anymore. I was actually talking to them; they took it off the computer. And I don't know if they're going to re-release it or if they're not. He said it was only available for like a two, three week period after it was announced that called the XP. But back to the gameplay, guys. This is one of my best games. Honestly, I was a noob in this game. I think I was maybe I was maybe under level 10, maybe around there. 10 or 11, 12, something like that. And um, this was actually my one of my first decent games. I'm actually getting better. I'm progressively getting better. I'm noticing myself. When I first started, I was barely getting any kills. In the beta, I terribly sucked because you're playing with people that actually want to play the game. You know what I mean? Here, you're getting in with people your level. And um, as far as progression-wise, I've never played the Gears of War game. And I think I'm progressing uh, fine for what I'm used to playing, the types of game that I'm used to playing. Um, I just I like chainsawing people. That's freaking crazy. He's walking behind it. I had a we were live streaming the other day and I got like a five man kill chainsaw. Like I rushed around back behind him, just chainsaw, 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 chainsaw. And I wish we were recording that because I would have been sick to put in a montage, but I never ended up doing that. Um, but I not ended up doing it. We never got it recorded because we were live streaming. Um, and it was just one of those spontaneous things. So now every single time I play, I make sure I have my capture card on because you never know when you're going to get another a game like this or you're going to get another crazy kill streak that you know you're not used to getting um or that's not common you know what i mean it's a it's not like uh black ops where you can go back in your theater mode this game doesn't have theater mode not that i'm aware of anyways so this video is wrapping up guys um overall i'd give uh gears of war from the time i've had it like two or three days now i'd give it you know an eight out of ten Eight and a half out of ten. I'm actually having a lot of fun with the game. Me and Spider just started the co-op campaign. We're doing playthrough, live commentary playthrough. You can check that out on our channel. Um, you can expect a few more, um, a few more multiplayer commentaries from me at least. I know Force is coming out soon. I'm going to be doing commentaries of that. I went 14, 13, and three. Um, it's weird. You get kills, downs, and deaths. I don't know it's different. It's not what I'm used to. I was level 11. I think I ranked up to level 11 during the game. So yeah, it was when I'm just starting out. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you want to continue this video, you can stick tuned. I'm going to put the boss, the boss downing at the end of this video. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.